Let, let me start off by saying that meiosis and mitosis always trips people up. So what I always do is try and do a demonstration that you can actually do for yourself at home. Okay? And that's the um, finger de demonstration. So I'm going to ask you guys just to, I know you might feel that it's kind of childish, but go along with me. Okay? All right, so you start off with one chromosome, okay? Okay, so this is from dad. You have the homologous pair from mom. Now let's do mitosis. In mitosis, okay, in G1, nothing happens, right? Because you only synthesize the DNA in S phase. In S phase, you're going to replicate each one of these, okay? Okay, two sister chromatids. Okay, it's mitosis. Okay. Dad's chromosomes and mom's chromosomes don't care what happens to each other. They move to the mitotic, to the metaphase plate, independent of each other. And this is the real challenging part. Now you have to move them to opposite poles. <laughs> okay, so that's mitosis. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, meiosis. First, start off exactly the same. Exactly the same. You've replicated, got sister chromatids. But this time, these homologous sets of chromosomes actually care about each other. Okay? They care what's happening, and they match up with each other. This is the process of synapsis. It takes place in prophase one. Okay? During this process, you have the chiasmata, the little X's. You have breakage and rejoining, and then you separate these um, recombine chromosomes to opposite poles okay, during telophase of meiosis 1. Okay. In meiosis 2, you take this set of sister chromatids, which will now line up on the metaphase plate, and these two will separate from each other. So the daughter cells will either get this one or this one. Okay. Yeah, I, that, that was not planned. Okay. It, it was completely unintentional. <laughs> okay. 